solve this radical equation, where, x is a real number. To solve a radical equation, usually the first step is to remove the radicals, by isolating the radical expressions, and raising the equation to the power of the index. This process, will result in a resulting equation. Then solve the resulting equation. Note that, by raising an equation to a power, some solutions may have been introduced, which don't make the original equation true. These solutions are called extraneous solutions. They should be discarded. So we need to substitute the solutions obtained from the resulting equation, back into the original equation, to check for any extraneous solutions. As the radical expressions of the given equation, are all on the left hand side of the equation, so we just square both sides of the equation. We know that, a plus b all squared, equals a squared, plus b squared, plus 2ab. By applying this, the left hand side of the equation, is equal to, x plus root of, 2x minus 1, plus x minus root of, 2x minus 1, plus 2 times, root of, x plus root of, 2x minus 1, times root of, x minus root of, 2x minus 1. Root 2 squared, is 2. x plus x, equals 2x. Root of, 2x minus 1, and negative root of, 2x minus 1, cancel. So we can now write, 2x plus 2 times root of, x plus root of, 2x minus 1, times x minus root of, 2x minus 1, equals 2. x plus root of, 2x minus 1, times x minus root of, 2x minus 1, equals x squared, minus 2x, plus 1. x squared, minus 2x, plus 1, is equal to, x minus 1 all squared. Root of, x minus 1 all squared, is equal to, the modulus of x minus 1. So we can now write, 2x plus 2 times, the modulus of x minus 1, equals 2. Divide the equation by 2, we have, x plus the modulus of x minus 1, equals 1. We divide the problem into two cases. Case 1, if x is less than or equal to 1. Then equation 1 becomes, x plus 1 minus x, equals 1. That is, 1 equals 1. So this means that, all x, which are less than or equal to 1, satisfy the equation. From the original equation, we know that, 2x minus 1, must be greater than or equal to 0, as it is the radicand of a square root. So we have, x must be greater than or equal to a half. Put these together, we have, x is greater than or equal to a half, and is less than or equal to 1. Now we verify, whether this is a solution of the original equation. From above, we know that, the left hand side of the equation squared, equals 2x, plus 2 times, the modulus of x minus 1. As x is less than or equal to 1, so which can be written as, 2x, plus 2 times 1 minus x, which is 2. So the left hand side of the equation, is equal to root 2, which is equal to the right hand side of the equation. So x is greater than or equal to a half, and is less than or equal to 1, is a solution of the original equation. Case 2, if x is greater than 1. Then equation 1 becomes, x plus x minus 1, equals 1. So 2x equals 2. That is, x equals 1. Therefore, there are no solutions, when x is greater than 1.